What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps of Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. This is not a personal. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at uh, 13,030 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you feel guided to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate for privacy and confidentiality purposes if you feel guided to donate. There is de absolutely no pressure to donate at all, at all, at all. I will never reach out to you asking you for money at all, at all, at all. And I will never reach out to you asking you if I can give you a personal reading. If either one of those occur and they say they're me, please report them because it's not me, okay? I just want to let everybody know, okay? Okay, so I did receive a channeling. I told y'all in the previous message about the updates on the channel for this weekend that I wasn't going to do them. I was going to write them down. But I got it literally about 10 minutes-ish after I uploaded that video. So to me, and it's regarding this weekend. So I feel I need to do it now. I need to do it now. So if this is for, I feel it's at least for one of you guys of the 13,030 um, people on here, hopefully you can get a heads up before this crap occurs, okay? This is really terrible, but if, hopefully if this is for you, you can catch the assholes or somebody else can catch the assholes and turn the wheel in your favor. That's what I'm hoping. So that's why I'm doing it now. Me and the kids had already planned on leaving. Like we had planned on being out of here at about 630. But I told them I was doing it, doing the video and they understood. So we're doing it. These are psychic intuitive messages um, from the spiritual realm. Just to let everybody know, they are psychic intuitive messages. Okay. Um, but it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest as this is a free general reading. It's not a personal. Okay. But it's for at least one of you guys out there I'm feeling, okay? Okay, so the channel message I received was um, um, a group is planning on breaking into someone's home this weekend. And I heard specifically this weekend. So I'm feeling either tonight to Sunday. So tonight is 6-3, 6-3-2022. I heard this weekend. So I'm thinking Friday to Sunday is what I'm saying. 6-3-2022 to 6-5-2022. So a group is planning on breaking into someone's home this weekend, this weekend. Um, but I heard through many series of chain of events, um, someone not connected to this group and um, will probably report them. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you plug it in how it resonates. Somebody's planning on breaking into somebody's home this weekend. I mean, I just don't know how else to say this. It is the, it's the truth for somebody, um, and it's sad, but it's the truth. It's, it, it's sad, but I heard in one of the situations somebody not connected to the group, so not connected to the shysty group. It's not one person planning on breaking into somebody's home, is what I'm trying to say. I feel it's like a, it's a group effort. I don't know if it's a a gang, a cult, a coven crazy toxic family i don't know but it is a group of people it sounds like strategically planning on breaking into somebody's home whether it's your home or somebody you're connected to's home but i heard somebody not connected to the group is going to uh, end up reporting them they're going to end up reporting them or catching them or something um let me see if i hear anything else this is crazy man For one situation, they will most certainly attempt this break-in. For one situation, they will not be successful. The person is going to end up calling the police, not connected to the group. In one situation, they will be successful. In one situation, series of chain of events are going to occur, and they will not even get to their destination. If, okay, well, there's at least three situations in the universe is what it sounds like. There's at least three. So one 
they are going to get to the destination of either your home or somebody you're connected to's home. And but somebody is outside the group, the gang, cult, coven, well, what have you, what have you, the group of people, um, is going to see them, I think, at your home or somebody you're connected to's home, or um, I think they're going to see them at your home. Or they're going to overhear a conversation of them planning on breaking into your home or or intercept text messages or a phone call or something regarding a break-in at your home or somebody you're connected to. So that's situation one. So somebody not connected to the group is going to intercept, basically. Whether it's a neighbor of yours or somebody you're connected to's home or maybe it's one of their spouses or partners going to look in on a text or a group chat or what have you what have you but somebody not connected to the thievy break-in energy basically however that resonates situation two um i heard they will they will plot plan their scheme they will go to the home this weekend whatever home it is, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to, and I heard they will be successful. So they will break in. They will break in. They will take what they want, and they will bounce, basically. Situation three, um, I heard series of chain events are going to occur. They are planning, have already premeditated, strategically planned, strategically had a plan together this weekend to go to your home or somebody you're connected to's home to rob, to break in and rob. But series of chain of events are going to occur to where they're not going to be able to even get to their destination. So whatever the series of chain of events are, I'm thinking maybe it's a flat tire or car trouble or somebody gets ill or somebody breaks a bone or um, there's a fight or a phone call to make uh, have them go somewhere else or what have you. Some kind of series of chain of events, whatever it is is going to occur before the heist is initiated, basically. Um, before they arrive to the destination of the home they want to break into, whether it's yours or somebody you're connected to, and it will not happen. So at least three in the universe this weekend. That's really freaking crazy. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So one, two of these are not going to be successful. One is. Wow. By the way, if anybody tries to break into my home, you will be caught, by the way. You will be caught. I just want to let everybody know. I said this last weekend. I'll say it again. If anyone attempts to break into my home from my toxic ass community this weekend, you will be caught. I mean, and I'm just being for real, for real about that. I've been a single woman a long time. I've lived by myself a long time. Um, I'm not a dumb dumb, and you will be caught. Just let you know. There's nothing in here you really want to steal anyways. Because, I mean, I'm not a materialistic kind of gal. And that's just the truth. Oh, my God. We got breach. Breach on the bottom of the deck, man. This is the premeditation I'm feeling. The premeditation of wanting to break into a home. Um, to steal something. Now, what the hell they want to steal, I don't know. It really could resonate a million different ways for a million different folks. But in this aspect, the breach is, I think, the physical break-in energy and breach, I feel it's dual energy, and the one where the person is going to find out about that's not inside the group is going to find out in the situation where the person is going to find out that's not in the group and is going to report them to the police. That could be the breach, too. The interception of information, whether it's on text or group chat or email, or phone call, or sticky note, or overheard conversation, or what have you, or what have you. Ring, 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 ring. Or a neighbor that sees them at your home when the neighbor knows you're out of town. And the neighbor knows nobody's supposed to be at your home. And they see somebody mosey rosy up on your property. Ring, 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 ring. You plug it in, how it resonates. And also, I feel the breach could be the universal life events about to happen for Situation 3 over here to where they're not even going to get to the home, desired home and location for the break-in. Universal breach. Universal series of chain events about to occur. 
Universe works in mysterious ways, and that's just the truth. Wow, man. Let me see if I hear anything else. For one of these situations, people will end up in jail. They never thought they would get caught, and they're about to. Okay, I heard for one of these situations, people um, are going to end up in jail. They never thought they were going to. They never thought they were going to get caught, but they're about to. Um, and the thing is, is if they're premeditating a burglary, which is basically what that is, premeditation of a burglary, for these channel messages, that's basically what this is in 3D world, layman's terms. It's premeditation of a burglary. When you enter on somebody's property, and I'm not a law enforcement official, everybody knows that, but I mean, I'm not done done either. either. When you're entering onto somebody's property and you, you're you not invited and it's not your property you don't pay, pay rent or mortgage for and you're planning to go steal something out of their home and enter their home and you don't have permission to enter or i.e. consent to enter, that's burglary. When you steal something out of somebody, I mean, you're entering on their home, on their property, you have no consent. Then you enter in their home and you have no consent. That's and you're gonna steal something, take something from their home, and you had no consent. That is burglary. Premeditation of burglary. Whoa. I heard in one of these situations somebody's going to end up in jail. They never thought they would. Well, good, they should. For some of you guys, you might be a main female about to apprehend in situation one where you're about to find out about this premeditated plan and you're gonna call the police. That's what I'm feeling for one of you guys. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. I think you're femme energy or you're masculine about to take on femme. Um, and you're about to intercept the conversation or the plan or the emails or the text or the group chat or the written down on the sticky do sticky dough plans. I don't know. Number two could be very significant number in one's life. Number two, it could be possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or a child or you or somebody you're connected to. Number two. Um, or any other significant number in your life, or these burglar, uh, well, they're not burglar, burglars yet, uh, but they have premeditated to become burglars, um, so they are, uh, that's still, that's premeditated, that's still not cool, that's just the truth, or maybe for some, it might be a feminine bur burglar, say that five times fast, feminine burglar, i.e. thief, you plug in how it resonates, or, like I said, this could be the hero. This could be the hero about to call in to the police. Energies can be reversed. Or it could be, you could be a femme energy when your home is about to get broken into. Or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. Message of concern, occupation reverse. Number 14 or 34 could be very significant numbers in one's life, 14 or 34. It could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or, or age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life, 14 or 34. Message of concern, upright, occupation reverse. There will definitely be action here, definitely. Know this, there will definitely be action here, definitely know this. I think I'm speaking to the person that wants to break into somebody's home. That's exactly what I think for at least this, this channel. I think I'm speaking to the person that wants to break into somebody's home. I heard there will be action here and I, I think somebody's going to take action because they know whoever this person is, they know they're supposed to be out of town. They know their home is going to be empty for the weekend. They know they won't be around. So they know whoever is about to try to come onto their property, they're not supposed to be there. Message of concern, ring, 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 I think to the police. And I'm just being for real. Our, somebody's going to go jail. And they don't even, um, they're not seeing it coming. So I think this is the hero in this about to intercept some kind of communication or seeing somebody on somebody's property and they know they're not supposed to be there. 
I would do it for my neighbors. Absolutely. Um, I've done it for neighbors before. Um, not here in this neighborhood, but other neighborhoods in other states where I live. It's the right thing to do. I mean, if it's not a neighbor, it could just be interception of information, like on a, te on a phone or, or something or a device or something. Occupation reverse. These people are very, very, very greedy, but they're about to really regret their life choices. No job, no desire, no, no, no direction in life. Okay, I heard these people are very, very, very greedy. Um, they have no job, no direction, and no desire in life. So, unemployed energy here. These are the burglars. I think the anticipating burglars. Um, I heard they have no job, no desire to get a job. I feel for some, they live off welfare or unemployment, possibly. Um, I didn't hear they did, but I feel maybe for some they do. Or they live off their family. Or they might be the generational wealth meth lab or heroin people that I've been picking up, possibly. The uneducated, um, extended family members that have been um, helping uh, their other extended family members build generational wealth off meth labs and heroin um, runs and things like that. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, I'm not saying it is, but it might be for some of them. But I know they're unemployed. So they might be drawing unemployment. They might be drawing welfare. They might be drawing food stamps. They might be drawing uh, Medicare or Medicaid. Hell, I don't know. It ain't my business. I don't know. But I, I can tell you they love it there. They love it there. They love not having the job. They love stalking people. They love casing people's homes and casing people's situations to steal from them. They love it there, i.e. the theft energy. They love it there. They most certainly love it there and their ass is about to get caught. They most certainly love it there and their ass is about to get caught. Breach. They're about to get breached, baby. And I and that was confirmation in spiritual realm. They love it there. They love it there. So they have no desire to have to get education to uh, further themselves in life. They not have no desire to get education to help them or their family situation or their situation, period. They love it there. I would never love it there, but I'm not them. I don't think that way. I have no desire to steal from anyone, and I never have. I mean, not as an adult. I'll tell you that right now. Spirit messages you have reflected. All tied up. I, that's the jail energy in this deck. All tied up with Angel of String, number 23 or 50. could be very significant numbers in one's life, 23 or 50. It could be a possible age of um, these criminals or um, prospective criminals or a uh, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, 23 or 50 or any other significant number in one's life. All tied up in this deck is the Eight of Swords, which is the jail, mental imprisonment, or physical imprisonment card. This is the Eight of Swords in this deck. Like, this is the Strength card in the Rider Waite. This is the Eight of Swords. So, physical jail, physical prison, or mental entrapment. And, or it could be mental. Um, mental admitted to a mental hospital as well, possibly. I mean, because jail, prison, and admitted to a mental institution. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my God. They are about to be shocked. But someone's about not to mess around. Someone is about to really pay it forward. Okay, I heard they are about to be shocked, but someone's about not to mess around, and someone's about to really pay it forward. So I think you, sir or ma'am, the hero in this, that's about to take some action, whether you see the people, per perpetrators, come onto somebody's property and you know that person's not there and they're intentionally supposed to be out for the weekend um, or you intercept it 
you know, you're connected to the perpetrator or perpetrators and you intercept the communication or overhear the conversation or what have you, you're, you're about to be a hero. Sending message of concern to the police about to get the assholes locked up. I heard they're about to be shot. They are about to freaking be shot. And they're about to have to have strength. This is the jail energy in here. And they're about to have to have strength. Um, and I think they're going to be all up in their head with mental issues. Um, not mental issues, but mental health, stress, anxiety, worry, and fear. Some of them, well, obviously they do have mental health issues. If they are okay with stealing from people. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm being for real. That's not normal um, behavior, and it, or, nor should it be. And I'm serious. Mm, I heard they're going to be shocked. Several shocking series of shame events are going to occur with these situations. Some of these people will have no bond. Several shocking series of chain of events are going to occur with several of these situations. Um, some of these people have no bond. So it's at least three situations in the universe, but one of these aren't even going to be able to get, like something's going to happen before they even get to the, the site, the home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, one's going to be successful. It sounds like they're going to get in, get what they want, get out. And they're, I mean, they're going to, it's going to happen. The other one, though, I think the uh, first one, there's going to be several of number ones is what I'm trying to say. I think there's going to be several of number ones because I heard several shocking series of chain events are going to occur um, and they're not going to like them. So I think there's going to be many break-ins this weekend is what I'm trying to say of the ones where they actually are going to do it with these unemployed people that love it there. Um, and th they have no desire to go out and further their education or um, you know, partake in a technical program or go to college or, or just get some life skill experience to do, you know, like to get realtors license or something of that nature. They just love it there. They love it there in the theft department, but it's about to boomerang back on them energetically because somebody's about to stand up their ass. Ring, 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 local police department. And I think one of you guys is about to be the hero and do it. Locked up. They won't let me out. They won't let me out. Oh, they won't let me out. They deserve it, to be honest. They deserve it. Okay. We're done. I love you guys so very much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Please be safe, you guys. Please be safe. Namaste.